Hi everybody. Today was a pretty good day. I got to work, just got home. And tonight for you, I'm going to make a COVID dinner. You may be wondering what a COVID dinner is. Well, you remember when it first started out, everybody was in this big panic about buying toilet paper and buying everything. I mean, the meat was going out the door. Everything was going out the door. You couldn't get soup. You couldn't get anything. Well, while I was shopping over at the Big Y supermarket, they had these eye of round steaks for like buy one, get two free, something like that. They're kind of thin steaks. So I bought those up and I brought them home so that I could vacuum pack them and freeze them up for a later time in case all the meat was like disappearing. So I've got those. I defrosted them last night and um, I'm going to use the air fryer again tonight and I'm going to air fry the steak and I'm going to put some canned portobello mushrooms on top because I bought the canned mushrooms. They would last longer. And those nasty white boiled uh, canned potatoes. I'm going to do something special with those. I'm going to throw everything into the air fryer all together. And I'm hoping to come up with a decent meal after all of this. So uh, it's another good thing is it's Sunday, which means it's way in day for me. And you've seen what I've been eating. So I got on a scale and I'm down another four pounds this week. And I'm Pretty happy about that, considering a couple months ago I was, uh, you know, not the healthiest person in the world. Anyway, I've got canned mushrooms, canned potatoes, and previously frozen vacuum-packed eye of round steaks upstairs waiting for me, and we're going to try to make something special with them. So that's what's in the air fryer today. It's Let's go upstairs and see what we can do with it. So here we are with the COVID dinner. We've got the air fryer here ready. I'm going to try to minimize cutting boards and plates and everything else. I have cut open my frozen, thawed out, eye of round steak. Can we see it there somewhere? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to lay that down. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Kind of flip it over. Some more salt and pepper. And I'm going to add my coffee rub to that. Someone was asking me about this. It's uh, if. I'm using this to uh, keep the uh, keep it from searing too much. But basically, I'm just adding this. It's a it's a mix of different herbs and blends, uh, herbs and spices with some instant coffee, ground instant coffee, and it uh, just adds to the flavor. So. There's nothing really spectacular about it. It's just a cheap eye of round steak. I think at Big Y they were buy one get two free, something like that. So with this air fryer, I'm trying to put it around my fist a little bit. And I'm going to stick it down in there. Stick it down in there. And now that I've got it down there, I'm going to add a little bit of the garlic infused olive oil and I'm going to put the steak right in there. How hard was that? You want to see that again? It's just just like that. So I'm giving that a little spray as well and I'm also going to take some canned portobello mushrooms that I've opened up and drained and I'm going to put some of those right over the top. Because who doesn't love mushrooms? Again, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to that top of those. And I'm going to add just a little shot of Worcestershire. Yes, because I like Worcestershire. Now, I'm going to use my handy little grate. You saw this before with the coconut shrimp. Uh, I bought it as an accessory on Amazon. It came with like a whole bunch of other crap, some uh, tongs and things like that. 
but uh, it's going to leave a little bit of room on top of the stake here. And to that, I'm going to add another foil. I'm going to kind of put it around my fist a little bit and make a, a bowl. And I'm just going to kind of fold it over so that there's a bowl shape in there, but it's not sticking out above the rim to stop this thing from sliding in and sliding out, but it'll keep some juices in. So with this, I'm going to take some nasty whole white potatoes that you would get. I've drained these. And I'm just going to kind of throw them in here. It's a nasty one right there. Might as well cook the whole can. I can always use leftovers. So now that I got the potatoes in there, I am going to uh, again add salt and pepper over the top. Just going to kind of shake it on there. Then I'm going to hit them with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to top them with just a little bit of smoked paprika. Because these themselves are they're very bland. They don't have really much to them. And to add in that little bowl, I'm going to put a little bit of butter right on top. And it should kind of get down in the foil. So it was that simple. Got the foil tucked in. Now I'm going to set this in the uh, air fryer to... Uh, 400 degrees and I figure in about 14 minutes we should be done and that'll give me a medium well steak and some hopefully some pretty decent looking potatoes so let me get this in the air fryer the air fryer all over here lonely in the dark and Gonna put our food in. Turn it on, 400 degrees, and like I said, about probably 14 minutes. And that's all there is to that. So we'll come back in 14 minutes to see what we got. In the meantime, let's work on the gorgonzola chia butter that I want to make for this. Pretty simple for the gorgonzola butter. For the gorgonzola butter, we're just going to basically take a hunk of softened butter and we're going to crumble, you know, a good amount of uh, gorgonzola cheese, however much you think you want. I like it. And if you don't have gorgonzola, you can always use blue. And then we're just going to mix that kind of together. I'm going to kind of mash it in there. Still see a lot of yellow. So let's get some more cheese in there. And you can add salt, pepper, you can add some paprika, you can add whatever you'd like to this. Some garlic. Um, but basically I just want the cheese and the butter. Now typically you do a large portion of this. But uh, oh, I can smell that in the air fryer already. It's, it's coming out pretty good. I'm just going to get some cling wrap and I'll lay it down here and I'm going to scoop the butter right onto there. And when you start folding this over, you just kind of form it into a little bit of a log like that.
and then you just refrigerate it until it firms up. Then what we'll do is take a slice of that and we will put it right on top of the uh, steak while it's resting when it comes out. It's really incredibly good. I mean, it adds so much flavor to it. Mmm, it's done. Let's see what we got. All right, let me take the placemat down. And look at those potatoes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. So anyway, let me get a dish. Okay, I'm going to use one of my little appetizer plates. As you can see, it's only about as big as my hand. And a big thing about the plating is that you want the meal to look like a lot. So while I've got the plate here, let me just add the scale. Because I do like to keep an eye on what the scale is going to read. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these potatoes. And I'm going to move those right out of here. The metal rack came with it. And that steak is looking actually pretty good. For a COVID steak, that's, uh, that's not too bad. I'm going to take the steak here. And I'm going to put it right on the plate. And we're looking right about, uh, almost about four ounces. So I'm going to add just some of that gorgonzola butter right on top while that's resting. And then I'm going to put just a few potatoes on. I'm going to allow myself up to uh, six ounces today. Ooh, and we're at the six ounce mark. So, just going to crush these down a little bit. You can serve them whole as they are. I mean, they're just little bite sized potatoes. But, I want to take some of the butter that was in the foil and I just want to put that over that a little bit. This is the butter that they were roasting in. Put a little bit right there. And then I'm going to take some of the beef juice that the steak was cooking in just a little bit and I'm just going to pour a little bit of that right over the top of the steak so there you have your COVID dinner it is Canned mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, with um, canned nasty white potatoes and a buy one get two free brown steak that had been previously frozen about two months ago. So that's what we ended up with. Let's give it a try. Okay, I'm going to take a little piece of the steak here. And I get a little bit of that butter, some of that mushroom, and that's done pretty well. Mmm.
Sorry, I have to chew, chew, chew. That's really not that bad. The mushrooms are pretty good. That butter with the creamy gorgonzola is just adds to all that flavor. And I'm going to give one of the little potatoes a shot. Mm. I mean, it's not five star. For what, for what you got out of the freezer and what you've had in the pantry, for the past year or so this is a quick easy dinner you don't have to go to the store you can dig through the pantry and you can find out hey i got some mushrooms hey i got some boiled potatoes I got a couple frozen steaks down there that i bought on sale got a can of mushrooms got an air fryer it's really a pretty decent meal and it's quick you saw it was just 14 minutes a few minutes to prepare so i hope you try it and if you do well i don't encourage you to i mean there's better meals to be eating at night but if you have to, this is not that bad. So uh, enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Wow. The butter, these potatoes, spot on for a nasty potato. Mmm.